met one of my friends who coordinates some groups of community development committees from our local leader. And then he was sharing this concern with me from a group of around uh, 25 village development committees, they call them so, he was saying four are not active. And what I am thinking from where I sit is to just go back there and ask the community that they replace them. <laughs> so that was very interesting question for me. And then I reconnected very quickly with my short experience when I say, well, if you're seeking advice from me, what I would suggest is uh, you kind of need a process, not just like these ones are dormant, replace and give me some others, all that kind of thing. And it was interesting for us to reflect on what, after giving this question back to him, beside the replacing, what, what, what else do you think could be done? Because there are people that you have had uh, some working relationship with them for some time now, and still you want to see them activated and maybe moving forward uh, as the other groups are doing. Hmm. Yeah, and it was interesting to begin to see the change of uh, perception on what is possible through thought. Because he was able to say, yes, I think we just go back there and take stock. And taking stock was, we try to see what are the things that they have been able to see as much as we are looking at them as dominant. But there are things that they have been able to do, they have been able to achieve, and that would be an encouragement uh, for them to feel activated. Yeah. And then see how they can be linked with the, with the other groups from the other various locations. Also to hear what has been their story and what has been motivating them to keep them moving forward. Mm -hmm. So I think for me that was really interesting just having that conversation last evening, trying to reflect and seeing how things can be possible when you really embrace the spirit of uh, appreciation and the realizing that as much as we might be dumber, but still we have some inherent strength and good things that we have been able to do. And they might not just be seen by the externals, but if given the space ourselves, we can really be able to share that. And then we further went to really look at how that can be done in terms of process. And what was interesting was that you say, yes, opening that conversation from that perspective will also be able to open another window to hear what has been holding them back and yeah. what is that thing they can do to really make progress as the other groups in the other locations are doing. And it was amazing just to, to listen to that uh, uh, coordinator for those groups in terms of seeing how SORT can really help to activate uh, is processes that he might feel hopeless and things not working. Mm -hmm. So I feel it was powerful for me last evening in that way. Thank you, Onesimus. Uh, a powerful story. Uh, and we are all faced with that, I think, especially in this uh, uh, internet-based uh, groups. Uh, we have many dormants and we think they do nothing. We reach out to them and we see uh, wonders sometimes. And so the first conclusion saying, oh, they are dormant, they are doing nothing, is, is our mind uh, working uh, negatively, but maybe, maybe it's true, but maybe it's not true. <laughs> and so uh, checking our own hypothesis about what is going on, oh, they are dormant, they are no good, I need to replace them. Rather going, as you said, to a process of taking stock and seeing the good things we've done and moving from there is a good example. Now, 